Hello there, Gemini, and welcome to your February 2019 reading. In the center of your reading, we have the Ace of Pentacles, which could represent a Taurus Virgo Capricorn crossing you. We have the Star card, which is the sign of Aquarius. At the bottom of your reading, we have the Empress. In the recent past, we have the Chariot in reverse, which could represent a Cancer. Your overall energy bottom of the deck is the Six of Wands, which could represent a Leo. At the top of your reading, we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, which is the sign of Virgo. In your near future, we have the Seven of Cups in the upright position, that is a Scorpio. In your role or attitude of the situation, we have the Queen of Pentacles, which could represent Taurus Virgo Capricorn. In the role or attitude of others on the situation, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse as a sign of Pisces. In your hopes or fears, we have the Eight of Wands, which is a Sagittarius. And your final outcome card is the Five of Swords, which could also represent Aquarius. So, the first thing that I'm seeing here with this Ace of Pentacles and the Star card is someone wants a new beginning with their dreams. Someone, you have two dream cards next to each other here, which tells me that someone wants to follow their dreams and thinks that it could be a new business. In your role or attitude, this Queen of Pentacles here, you know, she's the one that plans. She, is, she would definitely be someone that would do her, have her own business. Um, the Empress at the bottom represents growth and expansion. Uh, it doesn't always have to be, you know, somebody's mother or somebody having a baby although if someone is having attempt trying to have a baby here you will be successful if you're not trying then there's a possibility that you could get pregnant because you have two victory cards here you know i also see this um star card with the six of wands and in an 11 card spread uh that's you know, someone being a star, being the center of attention, getting a lot of attention, public recognition. I definitely feel like somebody has a lot of potential to go into their, go into business for their self and be very successful. It, it will be a battle. You, there is going to be some obstacles along the way that you're going to have to overcome. Your wish is granted. What you've asked for is coming true. See, right next to the Empress. Somebody's going to have, somebody's going to be successful in getting pregnant. Whoops, that went on the floor. Um, I also see that there's a possibility that someone's getting a new car here. In the past, this is the past, so don't get nervous when I say this, but there could have been a car accident in the past, and now somebody has to buy a new car. If this is you, don't worry, it already happens. You do not need to be nervous about getting into a car accident. Maybe you don't have the money right now, or you're going to have to finance it and spend a lot of money, and you're kind of upset about that situation. I mean, everybody would be, but... In this at the same time you know you're getting a new car so a business venture trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity boom somebody is going to open their own business and be very successful i have to say um let me pull a romance angel here see what they have to say as well what else do I see? Somebody's mother needs support. 
needs attention. I think maybe she's feeling a bit lonely. Maybe she needs your help in something. And you're just busy. You're a busy person, whoever this is for. You have a lot of stuff going on. If this is about love, there is a relationship in the past that ended. And right now on the table, we have a new beginning. And you are hoping that it's going to work out. You're, it's, the, the star card is crossing you. So um, I feel like you have a fear that it's not going to work out. But I do feel with the Five of Swords as the final outcome here, there will be a victory. There will be some obstacles along the way. But there's, as long as you have the determination that that, that card represents to win no matter what and don't let anything stand in your way, you will be successful. With the Six of Wands is your overall energy. I think that this relationship is going to also be successful. Someone is like on the fence here about walking away. This is the ruler attitude of the other person or the other people. Or some, someone from your past returns. Oh, that's probably what it is. Someone from your past that you broke up with wants to come back. They don't want to be single anymore but they're gonna to have to let go of someone else maybe here. The Eight of Wands and your hopes or fears uh, could also represent, you know, the arrows of love. The arrows of love coming towards you. So I think that you hope that this relationship is going to work out and you're going to fall in love. I see two sevens on the table and I see two eights on the table. So July and August will probably be significant months. Sevens represent a lack of confidence. And that's also what this card represents, a lack of confidence. So somebody's not confident here about something. Two eights represent abundance, which is Growth, abundance, growth, success, success. So if you somehow manage to build up your confidence a little bit more, you are going to be successful in this situation. I also see travel here. I feel like somebody doesn't want to travel or they're afraid to get on a plane. There's a victory here at the end. I don't know where you're going. I don't want to travel. I don't want to travel. I'm afraid to travel. Traveling, going to see someone from your past. Anyway, let's pull a Romance Angel. I'm going to clarify a couple of the things on the table here. Uh, the Seven of Cups is always confusing for me. It's options. It's confusion. It's which decision do I make? What do I do? Give your relationship a chance. So, okay. Yep, exactly what I said. Um, someone's returning from your past. Most likely a relationship that had ended. This is... Uh, you know, something that comes to a sudden screeching halt here. So this person is probably coming back. It will be successful and you're going to have to work on it. I mean, that's what that's about. You know, the you will have a victory in the end, but there is going to be obstacles along the way. There's obstacles in everybody's love life here. Uh, let's clarify a couple of things here because I think really strongly feel like a lot of this is related to business. You know, a lot of
lot of people want to hear about love. The magician, <laughs> you have the tools. I didn't ask my question yet, though, so hold on here. Universe. Um, the first card I would like to clarify here is the Seven of Cups. What's the Seven of Cups about? What are all these options? And what's this confusion about? And which decision do I make? I feel like somebody's just all over the place here. Maybe you have several suitors and you don't know which one to choose. Seven of Cups, please. One card to clarify the Seven of Cups here. Four of Swords in the Reverse. Oop. Let me move that out of the way because I need to see these cards. So no longer resting, no longer thinking about it or exhausted from thinking about it. The Four of Swords is also a card of healing. But in the reverse, it leads me to believe that maybe you're not healed from a past situation yet. Because the star card that crosses you tells me that someone needs a little bit more healing here before they can move on. Time heals all wounds. So if someone from your past does come back and they want to get back together, Maybe you should just say, let's just give this some time. Let's, you know, maybe just start off with having a cup of coffee or something like that. Uh, five of Swords is your final outcome. Can I please clarify the Five of Swords? One card, please. Show me what I need to see. The Eight of Wands in reverse. No communication. No travel. Hoo-hoo. So this person that doesn't want to travel, maybe they're not going to. There's no communication here. Someone needs, in order to get this victory as this final outcome, someone needs to communicate more. Someone is not communicating emotionally, effectively, or they're, they're making the other person confused because they're not communicating. All right, last card that we're gonna clarify here is the Empress at the bottom of the deck. What is this Empress about? I never know, this could be somebody's mother, this could be somebody getting pregnant, this could be somebody starting a business. Although I really strongly feel that it is is the five of pentacles. I really strongly feel that it is a business. Wasteful spending. Needing help. Maybe you need help to start your business. Please clarify this Empress card. I didn't take that five of pentacles because it had a whole bunch of cards attached to it and I never know if they want me to have the top one or the bottom one, and I just want one card, so I put it back. But please clarify this Empress. There it is. Ah, so, yep. Somebody's growing a business here. Ooh, the High Priestess and the Magician. Wow. Maybe somebody's growing a... You have all the tools. Go with your gut. It's very spiritual. That's three very spiritual cards there. Someone starting a business. A spiritual business. Maybe a tarot card reader. You're going to be successful if that's what you're doing. I like this right here. This is pretty awesome stuff. Better than the last two readings that I had. My goodness. All right, I'm going to wrap it up there, Gemini. Hope you have a great February and thanks for watching.